Hello boys and girls, I am Tamika Wilson. Today we are going to be doing English B for grade 10. We're going to begin by studying the short story, The Two Grandmothers. Today we're going to look at the summary, the setting, and characters in the short story, The Two Grandmothers by Olive Signor. So let's begin. So first of all, we're going to begin by looking at the summary of the story, The Two Grandmothers by Olive Signor. The story opens with a little girl telling her mother about the experiences she had had with her two grandmothers, Grandma Dell and Grandma Elaine, known as Towser. At the beginning of the story, the narrator loves her country grandmother because of the attention she receives from her. She also wants her grandmother to show her off to her friends and neighbor. However, as she gets older, we notice that the narrator no longer has that strong love for Grandma Dell. She transfers this love to Grandma Elaine, who she believes is more worldly, more of a cosmopolitan, more who is more concerned with what's happening around her. This was the kind of life the narrator wanted. For the purpose of our summary, we're going to look at some characteristics of both Grandma Dell, Grandma Elaine, and our, our narrator. So Grandma Elaine is a tongue grandmother. She's more concerned about material things. She has been mul married multiple times. She's a socialite who dates wealthy men. She also travels a lot, and she's very concerned about her physical appearance. Grandma Dell, on the other hand, is a country grandmother who lives in rural Jamaica. She rears livestock, looks after her community, takes her granddaughter to church, and she loves her granddaughter's pretty skin and hair that she's not afraid to show her to everyone she knows. The setting of the story. The story occurs in three places, rural Jamaica, Kingston, and Clearwater in the US. And the story occurs sometime around in the 1980s. So we're gonna start looking at characters. And of course, we have our three main characters, Grandma Dell, Grandma Elaine, and the narrator. So we'll start off with Grandma Dell. Grandma Dell, as we have said earlier in the summary, is very traditional or old fashioned. She's Christian mind. She is simple because of the way she sees things. She never dates. She's prejudiced in many ways. And when we look at certain aspects of the story, we may come to the conclusion that she is a hypocrite. But we're going to talk about that later. Let's look at Grandma Elaine or Towser. Um, Grandma Towser on the other side is not traditional. She's what we call a socialite or something we refer to as a social butterfly. She's very materialistic. She's a narcissist. She believes in herself. She's self-opinionated and we'll see this as we study the story. She has been married a number of times. She goes on dates. She is prejudiced as well. Uh, she's also very straightforward and always speak her mind. We're going to look at the narrator. The narrator is our main character. Um, but before we look at that, the story is done in the first person narration because the narrator is telling her story. So that's point of view for you. Um, and let's talk about the narrator now. We meet her as a little girl. This is the first glimpse we get of her. And then she grows as the story progresses. By the end of the story, she is a teenager who prefers the company of Grandma Elaine over Grandma Dell, as at the beginning of the story. The narrator, as a narrator, she reports a lot of sensitive information. Uh, this information includes the fall of Grandma Dell, Pearlie's um, pregnancy, all of these information, sensitive information. She's also unaware of the consequences of her sharing these 
sensitive information. So she just rattles on to her mom about all of these things that are happening in the countryside without realizing that saying these things may have implication for other people's life. As she grows older, she becomes very materialistic in the things she desires. So she wants to be like everybody else who is in a position to stand out. And we'll see as we go on to study the story why she became that kind of person. She appears by the end of story to be quite confused in many ways about how she feels and the way she looks. And this is because when we look at, when we go to study teams, we'll see what are some of the things that draw um, her to get to that place where she moves from a child who loves her country grandmother to a child who now loves her um, her tongue grandmother and how that switch made, um, was made. And so that caused her to become very confused towards the end of the story about how she felt about herself, about how she looked, and then and we, we, we come to realize that a lot of things are happening with her. She begins to appreciate her hips like her socialite, social butterfly, Grandma Elaine. By the, by the end of the story, she cannot be bothered by her country grandmother, Grandma Dell, because she has evolved into a more materialistic teenager. So as I was saying, she has grown, she has evolved. She now spends more time with Grandma Elaine as against Grandma Dell. So that brings us to the end of today's lesson. Today we looked at the summary of the story, the setting of the story, and we looked at the major characters, Grandma Elaine, Grandma Dell, and the narrator in the story, The Two Grandmothers by Olive Signor. Okay, boys and girls, that has brought us to the end of today's lesson for English literature. Continue to be good students, and I will see you in the next class. <music>